Hello there, I'm Kylie Opat, and today we'll be reviewing memory techniques. We will be reviewing memory techniques geared toward academic success. I found 32 different ways to improve memory, and we'll be reviewing them now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here are my 32 different memory techniques. Um, I found a wonderful article online and it was called How to Remember Things, 21 Memories for Memory Improvement by Anthony Metfear. And he's categorized the techniques into three different sections, mnemonics for memory improvement, lifestyle changes, and, and lastly, other miscellaneous memory improvement methods. Um, so I'm going to just uh, share a few uh, methods that work best for me and um, another method that I just wanted I, I found interesting and wanted to share with you um, spaced repetition review and repeat combining a few of these strategies I have to um, I have to memorize facts and dates to make sure and to make sure that I memorize them correctly and the only way that I can do that is by reviewing my daily notes and having a small practice test of that information. Um, if I do this correctly, um, and I do it every day, I'll be able to store this into my long-term um, memory. Um, it'll help me prepare for a test, and definitely when um, I'm taking my test, I always feel more confident if I've reviewed my notes daily and I've taken a test daily. Um, my second um, category that I chose was audio, visual, encoding, rhyming, and acronyms. Christopher Col Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. If you use a song and it rhymes, it, it's going to stick in your head and it's going to be fun to repeat. Uh, we know the acronym, um, please my dear Aunt Sally, where the P means parentheses, M for multiplication, D for a division, A for addition, and S for, t for subtraction. I know it always helps me and I always remember it um, to use my please, my use, please, my dear Aunt Sally when I'm doing math. If I watch a movie on YouTube describing my subject um, or I watch a movie, sometimes it helps me better understand the subject and the topic. Um, if you show me how to do something, I will definitely learn how to do it quicker than if you just tell me how to do it. Um, another category um, is learning in the afternoon, getting a good night's rest, exercise, and taking naps. Um, you have to find the best study time for you. For me, it's afternoons. I need a good night's rest. If I don't get a good night's rest, I'm gonna be groggy and grumpy. Um, exercise. Remember to exercise. It promotes oxygen to your brain. So if you're feeling sluggish, get up and take a, a walk around the block. It's going to help um, uh, vigorize you a little bit and you'll be able to concentrate a little bit better. Take a nap. I mean, if you're tired, take a nap. Um, not a three hour nap. Take a 45 minute nap. And before you take that 45 ma uh, minute nap, try to study any kind of new lesson that you're trying to learn. The last um, category that I'm going to share with you is a new technique that I've never heard of. It's the Pythagorean memory technique. Yes, that person who invented the Pythagorean theory that you learned about a long time ago, the same person made a memory technique and it's named after him. And the theory is described as um, before going to bed each night, take 15 minutes, the last thing you do in your day, before going to bed, um, take 15 minutes and remember every little detail in your day, as many details as you possibly can, and try to categorize them um, from, you know, starting from the beginning to the end. So the first thing I did is I woke up, I turned off my alarm clock, I put on my slippers, and then I brushed my teeth, I had cereal, I had Pop-Tarts, actually. Um, and then, um, you know, I talked to my husband and then I watched news. Every little detail of your day. Doing this and going, uh, doing this, you will be able to, um, supposedly, you will be able to increase your brain activity. Um, you'll be able to fall asleep 
every night much easier and you'll be able to increase um, your long-term long memory, um, increase your deep sleep, and the ability to be more present throughout the day. And it gives you more confidence being more present throughout the day. So it sounds like a win-win. I hope you enjoyed my video on memory techniques and I will use them. Um, I current, I know that I'm gonna try and use the Pythagorean method technique to see how it works while continuing my repetition, my review, my audio visual techniques and um, my learning in the afternoon, getting a good night's rest, exercise and taking naps. Thank you very much for watching and I'm gonna give you a list of my references for your review. Thanks for watching.